Today we have a refurbished Microsoft Surface RT. This has Windows RT 8.1 on it. So today we're going to unbox it and just see what's in the box when you order a refurbished unit. So let's unbox it. Get this packaging off here. All right. So even though it's a refurbished unit, they put it in a great, you know, looking box. Turn the box around here. And on the back, you can see some information. This appears to be a 32 gig Surface. Windows RT plus Office. And here are the things that should be included. We have our Surface, Office Home and Student 2013 RT, a power supply. So let's pull it out of the box here. And I'll need to cut this here first. All right. There we go. And we'll take a look over this inner box. Remove the tape here. Flip it open. There we go. So there's our surface. Here is the power supply. And the power supply for these first generation surfaces are kind of weird. You can see it's kind of like a brick here. And you'll fold out your prongs. It has the Window RT logo on it there. And here would be the charging head. That actually kind of clicks on the side of the surface. Then of course the actual surface is in the box. Here's the back, it's got a refurbished sticker on it. Let's set that aside for now. And we have a little booklet. Pull this off. So here's your information booklet. Uh, looks like the safety guide here. And another booklet here. Just giving you some general information, some quick start information on how to turn on your Surface, sign in with your Microsoft account. So that appears to be all that's actually in the box of our refurbished Surface RT. Pull this out just to make sure. So even though this is a refurbished unit, you can tell they definitely take care in packaging up the unit to uh, keep it from being damaged. So now we'll take the Surface out of the packaging. All right. So now I'll power the unit on. All right. And I actually felt a little bit of feedback when that powered on, kind of like the Windows Phone, so that's pretty cool. So now we're starting up this Surface for the first time. I gotta say this tablet feels like a premium device from this brushed metal sort of casing to the feel of the glass here, along with the weight. I mean, it feels like a premium device, a great feeling tablet here. So the Surface has booted up for the first time here. So we'll have to choose our initial setup settings. We'll just leave it there for now and click next. And you see it's applying the settings there. Then you'll have your license agreements you'll have to go through. And then you can personalize it by picking a theme. Just choose a theme here and give it a name if you wish. So after you log into your Wi-Fi or skip that step, you'll be able to continue on with the setup. So we can choose express settings or go to customize. If you go to customize, obviously you can customize what's going to happen a little more, but we're happy with the express settings. So we'll go ahead and click use express settings. And now we're setting up the account. And now it's telling me this service isn't available. That's because it's not connected to Wi-Fi. So we can try again or create a local account, meaning it won't be connected with our Microsoft account. So we'll continue with this setup later on after Wi-Fi comes back. But for now, we'll go ahead and look over the rest of the case here. Here we are on the back of the surface. Here's a camera. You can see there's a nice Windows logo on this bottom portion where our kickstand is. And that just folds out. Very nice. And by using that kickstand, we can then set our surface down and it will stand there for us. That's very nice to have that included on the actual body of the tablet and then that flap will just snap close like that right here you can see the docking station for like a, a keyboard a touch cover over on this side we have a volume rocker headphone port and it appears to be a speaker or a microphone there and go to the opposite side we'll see a great feature of the surface is they have full-size usb ports it's just much easier to have a full-size usb port on your tablet instead of those little mini usb ports that then you'll have to go out and get a adapter to use you know full-size say flash drives or maybe like a wireless mouse or something 
We also have, it looks to be a micro or a mini HDMI here. And checking with the included information here, it says it's HD video out. And then you also have your micro SD, which is behind the kickstand here. So you'd flip up the kickstand and then right there is where you can put a micro SD card. So back on this side, you'll see our charging port. And we showed that earlier. This sort of clips in there, sort of magnetized there. And when you're charging, just make sure you actually have that fully connected in there. Onto the top here, you can see we have our power button, our power lock button there. There's also a camera on the front here. And of course our Windows button right there, which when I hit that, I actually get feedback, just like you do on the Windows phones. And we'll try to use our express settings again. There we go, now we're checking the internet connection. And we should be good to go to let this continue to set up. And now it's setting up our surface. And now it appears that setup is complete. And now we're free to use our surface. So here is our surface. We have it all set up now. And we can swipe up to go to all apps. And even though this is an RT device, which is ARM based, there is still a desktop here. Even though we can't install apps like I might use, such as a Pro Tools or Avid Media Composer, being that they are not compiled for ARM. But anyway, we'll go ahead and pin the desktop to our start. So we just tap and hold and hit pin to start. And now we have our desktop here pinned to start. Let's go to desktop and you can see it looks just like the Windows 8 desktop. You now we have our toolbar down here. We can pin programs to that. We have our library we can go to here. So this is a 32 gig tablet and we have not installed anything else on this. And we have about 18 gigs free still. We have not yet installed an SD card onto this tablet. We'll do that later on. So that's all for this video. I'm going to swipe up here and head over to the Windows Store and start installing some apps on our new Surface RT tablet, Windows 8.1.